outline a cookie. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I outline my cookies when I'm going to decorate them with royal icing. When you're going to outline your cookies, there are two things that you need to consider. First, you need the perfect consistency of icing and also you will have to decide if you are going to use a decorating tip to outline your cookies or you're going to use a tipless pastry bag, okay? So, I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you, but first, if you are new here in my channel, don't forget to subscribe, push the notification button, and at the end of this video, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, okay? So, let's get started! First, to outline your cookies, you will need the perfect icing consistency to do it. The medium consistency icing is the one that I like to use when I'm going to outline my cookies. Please click the link above so you can see a full tutorial on how to get these consistencies accurately all the time. Here I have one quarter cup of firm royal icing. The firm royal icing is the one that you make when the peaks are very hard and firm, okay? So now I'm going to add a little bit of water. In this case, it's going to be a quarter cup of firm royal icing and it's going to be half teaspoon of filter water. Try to be very accurate, don't add more and if you can add less, it will be better so you can build it up, okay? Now I'm going to mix it. The consistency that you are looking for is a very smooth but still firm. One characteristic of the medium consistency icing is that when you put your spatula in the icing and you lift it, that the little peak will fold to one side, okay? I hope that you can see it, okay? So this is the right consistency for outline. It is soft but still has a body. And you will see here how the little pig turns to one side, okay? So this is ready. And there are two ways on how you can put it in your pastry bag, okay? You can use a tipless pastry bag or you can use a pastry bag with a coupler, a decorating tip, and a ring, okay? If you want more accurate lines, I will recommend to use a decorative tip, okay? And please click the link above for you to see how to prepare the pastry bag for uh, cookie decorating, okay? I'm gonna do it very fast because I kind of know already. I cut like around two inches. So now the tricky part is how to fill up your pastry bag. That's something very, very important, okay? Because you don't want bubbles of air in your icing because that is gonna give you a lot of headaches and it's gonna be plugging your decorating tip and it's gonna cause a mess. So what I found very useful is, is to fill up my pastry bag in this pastry bag filler. And if you cannot find those in your country, you can use any base or glass that has the size that will fit your pastry bag. Something like that. Okay. So now my icing is ready. And what I like to do is kind of let it fall in the center. I don't like that the icing touches the sides of the bag, so I am very careful to just drop it in the middle of the bag, okay? Now that I have here my icing, I like to shake it in case it has a bubble or something. I take it out and in case it has a bubble, okay? One thing that I like to do is twist 
my pastry bag very tightly. You can use a plastic bag or a bag clip. There. And one thing that I like to do is when I'm not going to use my pastry bag right away, I like to put it upside down in a cup. Okay, so let me get my cookie. I am going to tell you how you will squeeze your pastry bag. Okay, with these two fingers, I am going to grab what I twisted. Okay, like this, and with these two fingers, I'm going to pressure my icing in a very uniform way okay so these are the ones that i'm going to be squeezing never use your pastry bag like this because if not your icing is going to go up and it's going to make a big mess okay so always use it very tightly and you're going to use this okay you will start in any corner that you choose and you're going to squeeze and you are going to lift your icing okay and you are just going to let it fall by itself you can outline your cookie all the way out of your design or you can leave a little space it will depend on your personal preference okay to this water i'm going to give it a little shape You're gonna lift and when you want to finish with your icing you're going to stop squeezing so I'm gonna do like this again start in one corner squeeze very even lead your icing and stop squeezing when you're about to finish and let it fill okay that's the way that you outline a cookie so squeeze lift guide squeeze and stop squeezing squeeze lift guide and stop squeezing okay again you are going to squeeze, lift, guide your icing, squeeze uniformly, and stop squeezing. And the decorating tip that you're going to choose is going to depend on how thick you are going to want your icing on your cookie, okay? Because if you use a number zero, the outline is going to be very thin so you are going to be able to cover with a very thinly flooding consistency icing layer okay and if you use for example a number three thus opening is very big so your line is going to be very thick and you're going to be able to put a thicker layer of flooding consistency icing okay okay this is a line with the number one and this is a line with a number 2.5 in this cookie i'm using a decorating tip number one as you can see the line is thinner so the layer of flooding icing is going to be thinner also okay Doggy here. You start in any place you want. So you're gonna squeeze, lift, guide, continue squeezing, same amount of pressure. So you are just going to let your icing fail by itself. You are just guiding it. you're about to finish stop squeezing and let it fill okay so these are three outline cookies for you to decorate okay guys i hope that this video will help you a lot on how to outline your cookies and that i inspired you to bake and decorate a lot of cookies for this christmas and don't forget to repeat squeeze 
lift, guide, stop squeezing. And that's something that is going to build in your mind and you will remember that. And you will do that automatically when you decorate a lot of cookies. And if you mess it up, don't worry. Just clean your cookie and start all over again. And this is something that you will need to practice a lot so you will become a master on outlining your cookies. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and see you until next time. Bye bye. Thank you.